uh, maybe it started when I was a kid. Uh, I, I, I had a little patch in my garden, or my parents' garden, where, where, where I could just grow my plants. And my father has been interested in growing plants and, and gardens. So I think it, come, it comes from him. And, uh, and then I've always been loving the forest. So uh, I spent a lot of time in, my, in the forest when I was a kid. And now I work with forest soil making. I mean, I'm interested in all types of soil, but uh, the forest is dear to me. And uh, I think that's where it started. I mean, so few people know about uh, symbiosis and associations between organisms. And that's so common in nature. And that's so important for, for uh, how our living organisms uh, thrive. And especially this uh, fungal association with plants. I mean, the, the fungus extend the root system out in the soil, take up nutrients. And you can, you can see it's clearly in the forest by just digging in. And I love the smell of the fungus and, and the smell of the soil. So, 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 so to, to teach about that, I think. I mean, I'm, this, this is important for nutrient cycling and for many aspects. But lately, I've been more interested in, in trying to, to describe this to, to people outside the scientific community. So that's why I'm so happy to be here, because this is not the normal audience I have. Um, this is uh, another audience, and, and they are, seem to be very interested in this kind of things. And so so it, it, I want to move away a bit from this, well, not away maybe, but I want to expand into a, a wider community of people and uh, tell them about my my research, because uh, yeah, there is a lot of things I can tell you about my research, of course, but uh, uh, this symbiotic, symbiotic association is what's, what's really fascinates me. I mean, when we teach at the university, uh, the, the young people are really enthusiastic and, and uh, about changing things. I mean, you hear a lot about that youth are only playing computer games and not uh, uh, concerned about this, the world anymore, but uh, the students I meet are really enthusiastic, and that's, I mean, some people at the university, they, they do science or research all the time, but have very little contact with the students, but I think, for me, it's very important to have this, uh, this more direct contact, and to, to feel the enthusiasm, uh, and that gives, gives me hope for the future. But lately, I've also been interested in, in trying to reach children, because um, when I wrote this book, this popular scientific book about soil, uh, I want to tell stories to people, <clears throat> but, but I want now I want to, to go to younger people, I mean to, to the kids. So, so that's what I'm working on right now because that will be even more rewarding, I think, if if, if I can make kids interested in in this symbi symbiosis in nature, maybe sow some seeds there because uh, that's uh, that's uh, that would be nice. Yeah, it's always difficult. I, I was frustrated a lot when I was studying to, how to find a job. And, and uh, I mean, a, a scientific career is very hard. I, I want to advise them to, to, to go into science, because uh, you, it's probably better to go out in society. And actually, one of the ideas that came up during this week, which attracted me a lot, is that maybe you can do farming on part-time. I mean, <clears throat> because I mean, it's it's a great thing to to be able to work with the soil and see the plants grow, but to live on that is really really difficult. But I think the ideal thing for me and maybe for many other people would be to to do farming a little bit and then have have another job uh, to get the money, in, so to speak. Yeah, I think I mean the question is how to to I mean all, all the urine and feces that are going out in this, to the sewage plant. We need to take that phosphorus and make it in a form that is possible to put back to the fields. And I think there are ways to do it. I mean, uh, uh, but whether you should separate the urine in, in the toilets and then have a separate system, I think that's very complicated. So maybe in reality, it, it would be better to, to, to adapt the sewage plants so that, I mean, you, you can either have the microorganisms accumulating the phosphorus or you can precipitate it with iron. But if you have microorganisms to do it, it's easier to get a, a, a pure product of, of phosphorus that is not contaminated by heavy metals or chemicals or, or uh, medic, medic, medicals and things like that. And I know of several projects where they try to, to precipitate out clean phosphorus from the sewage uh, material. 
as it's very important, I think. And uh, <clears throat> I liked actually the, the 2,000 square meter uh, garden here. I was on a, trip, on a guided tour there. Because that's, that, that shows very well um, how much space you have if you, you share the, the planet with uh, all the other people. And that, I think that that's good, I think, because, I mean, if I want to, you know, if people want, to, want not to, to take more than, than their, their share, they can, there's kind of a picture that you can follow or try to live after. I mean, she, she said that uh, in this type of system, maybe I, I can eat meat once a week, for instance. So you don't need to be vegetarian, but you maybe, you maybe can reduce your meat consumption to, to, to something like that. And uh, that's, that makes sense. I mean, if, if this is ideal, I, I don't want to, I mean, if you can spread that message to people, you, you can maybe adapt your own life to follow something that doesn't take too much from the... I mean, it, it's in the, con in the concept that makes sense. So, so I, I think for myself, I eat too much meat, and I, I don't live the way I should do, because uh, it's difficult to do it, and for all people. But maybe when, when I saw that with the garden, I thought, maybe I should try to, to, to adapt to this, to see how much food can you get from a 2,000 square meter garden, and how much meat can you get from that. And, uh, and try to adapt, to, I mean, try to, to live something like that. Uh, I, I think I got inspiration from that, at least, because it's difficult to have the discipline <laughs> for me too.